In this particular tutorial, we're going to be looking at gamification with Google Forms, specifically how we can create self-marking Google Forms that will send student badges depending on their results. We'll be looking at setting up the self-marking Google Form, adding and editing the code to automatically email badges, testing the form and sharing the form. So I've already entered my questions for the quiz, which is a really simple quick quiz for the purposes of this tutorial. And it's a solar system quiz. There are five questions that need answering as well as a field for students to enter their email address. Now having a look at the field for entering the email address, it's a short answer text field, but I have made sure that it's validated, that it's a text type field and the validation type is an email address. And I've put in a custom message to say that does not look like a valid email address should they, the email address not look right. As you're adding your questions, make sure that each question is marked as required uh, because you want students to be going through and answering everything. Um, so once you've entered your questions, you need to go into the settings of the form to tell Google that you want it to be a self-marking quiz. So let's go have a look at the settings. So the first tab are the general settings. Now, if you are using a Google Apps for Education environment, a G Suite for Education environment, if you are using G Suite for Education, you wouldn't ask students to enter their email address. You would tick this tick box to collect email addresses automatically. There are a few other options here, so you can limit to one response. Uh, you can allow students to edit after submission. I'm going to allow them to do that as I'm looking at a assessment for learning approach. I don't want them to see summary charts and text responses. In terms of the presentation, I would get the question order shuffled. Um, I'd give students an option to enter another response. And you can add your own confirmation message. And finally, this is the last tab. This is where you set up your quiz. So we want to make this a quiz and we will assign point values to the questions to allow the auto marking. We're going to immediately allow students to see their results and see their missed questions, correct answers and their point values. To add in our responses and marks, we go to each of our questions and go to this answer key. Let it know what point value we have and then select the correct answer for each of the questions. And we go through and repeat that for each of the questions on the form. The last thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that the responses are being collected into a Google Sheet. Our code will be accessing the information in the Google Sheet to provide the correct email information to the students. So we go to responses. We click on this green icon here to create the spreadsheet. So it's going to create a new spreadsheet. It's going to give it a name based on our form and we click on create. So this, it's automatically opened up the sheet. There are no responses there at the moment. If you have a look in your Google Drive, you'll see that the sheet 
for your responses is saved in the same location as your form. Now that we've set up our form, it's time to copy and edit our code that's going to automatically send the badges out to the students. So I've already uploaded my badge to my Google Drive. It's a PNG file and this one's 200 pixels by 200 pixels. I find that recommended badge size is really, really small. So we go to the googleappsaction.com website, which has the code that we need to get. So we need to select the code from line one through to line 21. So right from the beginning of function down to the last bracket. And I use control C on the keyboard to copy. Now we go back to our form and we go to the three dots over here and go to script editor. So that loads up the Google Apps script editor. We get rid of what's here. Paste, I like to use Control V on the keyboard. Give the project a name, which is a, um, which I'll call it um, email badge. Okay, and now before we're ready to go, we need to go back and replace, we need to go in and replace some of the information on this code depending on our particular circumstance and requirements. So for instance, um, so the website, the post in googleappsaction.com actually has a table that lets you know exactly what you need to replace. So line three, we need to add in the Google Sheets file ID that contains the response information. So I'll go into my um, Google Drive. So I'll open up my sheet that will collect my response information. I don't have any responses yet, so it'll just be the headings. And the file ID is this number or code over here. So I highlight that and I control C on the keyboard to copy. Flip over to my code and here in this line three, I replace with my file ID. Now this is the row, um, so line five, um, has uh, is where it's getting the information for the score. So I've got to go check in my Google Sheet. So here it's saying it's getting it from column three and I have to check. So it's actually column two. So I need to change that. Okay, so obviously the email address is going to be stored somewhere other than column two. So let's have a look to see which column we're looking at. So it'll be column three. So I'll go back and change the email to column three. So subject, this is where I put in what subject the email that goes to my students should contain. So I want my students to get the badge if they received a score of four or more. So that means if they get a score over three, they will be receiving their badge. So I'll replace that seven there with three. Um, so here is, so this section here is the message that students who were successful in receiving the badge will receive. So
Okay, so now I have to find the ID of my badge file. So getting the file ID for your badge, your PNG or whatever format picture file you have, it's a little bit different to the spreadsheet. So we need that for line 10. So what we need to do is we need to go to where our badge is located in Google Drive. We need to right click and get shareable link. And it will give you the option to say anyone with the link can view. And what we're looking for is just after this ID equal sign, this number over here. So we select that and use control C on the keyboard to copy. And then we go over to the code and replace this part here. with the file ID of the badge file. Next is this section is for students who did not succeed in earning the badge. What I like to do is I like to give them an opportunity to um, attempt the quiz again, should they want to. They need to get the form ID. So I'll go to send get the link and just copy that link. So control C, select where the URL should go, control V to paste. And here I can change the message that the students say so mine's encouraging good try at the quiz have another try to improve your score and earn your solar system expert badge you can access the quiz at and it will email them the quiz reply so now it's time to enable the script so to do that we need to go to resources and go to current projects triggers so at the moment it has no triggers so nothing's going to happen at any time. So we click on here to add new triggers and this is exactly what we want. On submit from form on form submits. What that means is when the, the person who's completing the form submits it that's when this script is going to start. So click on save and we need to review our permissions. So review permissions so it's just saying what this script wants to do. So it wants to manage files, it wants to view my email. So I'll click on allow. So make sure we click on save. That's our quiz script done. Next step now is to test out our form. And the way we do that is by putting in our own email information and answering the quiz using the preview feature over here. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we get the badge when we put the right, the right number of answers in and we don't get the badge when we don't have enough answers right. So we click on preview and that will bring up our form. So I'm going to try it out a few times and see how I go. So I finished testing it now and this is one of the emails as a result of the test. So I tested with different scores to make sure that it was working okay. So now the last step is to actually share the quiz. So there's a few different ways we can do that. So we go back to where our form is and you'll see up here is a send button. We click on send. So we have a choice to send via email. We can get a link and there are also shorter versions of the link as well. Um, they're still quite long. So I use a service called, called bit.ly which allows me to create customizable short versions of links. And if you are working with uh, a website or a blog, you can actually embed 
the form into your page with the HTML code. And now you're ready to go with your automatic badge dispensing Google form. Thank you.